morning you guys it's Karen and this video today is an unusual one it's my favorite cleaning products um, and this is a request this is for Kate thank you so much for this request cleaning is an interesting one with me because when I am single or when I was single when I have been single I was very very house proud flat proud I should say and I loved cleaning you know I really I enjoyed cleaning and I was obsessed with cleaning and cleaning products. It, everything kind of changed when I moved in with Kev because I realized that unless you live with somebody that is like that, it's very, very hard to keep up with, you know, I need to put a little bit of gloss on, excuse me. Um, it's very, very hard to keep everything 100% tidy when you don't live with somebody that is like that, you know, that wants to live like that. But don't get me wrong, Kev is not untidy, um, particularly, he's not, He's got his own bathroom and so that is kind of off limits. I only clean that when it gets scary and I'll go to him, I needed to clean your bathroom, like it'll be months, you know. But actually this time he did it, he did it recently. Um, and he uses SIF in his bathroom and that's not something that I can use. It makes me wheeze because I do have, I am slightly asthmatic, um, but it's only when using something really, really strong like bleach or, or SIF products tend to irritate me and make me wheeze and cough. Um, but everything else in the house, I just, I kind of feel like my priorities shifted. And I remember I used to hoover every other day and I stopped doing that when I moved in with Kev. You know, there just wasn't enough time. If I was gonna be spending that much time on cleaning, I wasn't gonna have as much time to spend with him. Um, but coupled with that, I, I know that for me, less chemicals is better. And I've learned, I learned certainly working in science that it isn't necessarily a good thing to wash all bacteria away from everything. To be 100% clean is not really, human and it's not great for you you know you've got to have some bacteria to get some defenses to them so i try to be um as natural as possible with cleaning um and i i don't clean as much as i would like actually i would like to clean my bathroom more i feel like my bathroom and it is my bathroom but it's the main bathroom i feel like i, I would like that to be sparkly clean every day but it just isn't it's either like you know soap stains because I've got a square sink and it's really really hard to clean anyway enough of that let me tell you what I've got here and what I use them for so the first thing is the windows and mirrors and things like that I use I think I'm fairly boring in my choices I use Windolene um I've used this since I was in my 20s so you know 20 plus years 30 nearly 30 years and I have tried um, the kind of vinegar newspaper I've tried all of those things I've never found the perfect solution for shower screens other than I wash that if I've, if I've got company coming that's when I like make sure the shower screen looks great and I wash it when I'm in the bath I just at the end of the bath when I'm having a shower I will wash it from the inside just with um, soap that I'm going to show you and rinse it this is is the best thing i found even better than like you know using the vinegar mix i don't like the smell of vinegar either um but i'm always willing to try other options so if anybody has any any suggestions i'm happy to hear them this lasts me a very long time because i, I just don't use it very often you know um i will tend to with the mirrors in the bathroom just grab a duster and clean the mark off without any needing any product so that's windows let's go to the kitchen for the surfaces I tend to use this this is just a Dettol spray and simply because it's not a very strong smell it doesn't um, you know overwhelm it doesn't make me feel wheezy and I just feel it's quite a mild one um, there's no bleach no taint no odor yet it's true that there isn't much of anything but I know that it's kind of you know cleaning the surfaces so I just use this on a cloth for most of the surfaces unless I feel like sometimes using the Zoflora now I do love Zoflora I'm not gonna lie I love it so I've got sparkling spruce I've got linen fresh and I've got oh no this is another linen fresh I do love these but if if they're too concentrated they can be very overpowering and so I don't I don't like to use these too much because again I feel like they're just too strong too chemically too much fragrance you know so this one is a diluted one in a little spray so occasionally I will use this on a cloth on the sides if I'm having one of those cleaning days this is for like a quick wipe every day but if I'm having a cleaning day I'll probably do it with this and then I love that it smells so fresh so that's the sides for the metal work in the kitchen so for example the hob 
Um, I just use, these are the things I use to wash up. I'm gonna get a new one out, we need a new one out actually. So this is what I use with Fairy Liquid to wash up, um, just the normal original Fairy. And I will just use this side with some Fairy on it to clean the hob. And then I just wipe it down with a cloth. I don't really do anything more than that with the hob. Um, but if, again, I'm having a big cleaning day or we've got guests coming or something like that, I will use some of this Sif Perfect Finish for Stainless Steel. Again, I don't use it very often because it's quite a strong smell. It's not as strong as the Sif Disinfectant or bathroom spray that Kev uses. So it doesn't make me cough, but it is still quite strong. But it, this does give it a really nice shine. And I would just use, I would do my wiping this down with fairy liquid, wiping it off with a cloth, and then I would use one kitchen towel, spray some of this on it, and shine up the hob. I don't, however, use that on the microwave, the outer of the microwave, I actually use, where has it gone? This, baby oil. Um, the outs, you know, the metal part of the microwave doesn't really need much cleaning, but if it had like actual food on it or something, I would wipe that off with a cloth or with, you know, this, something like that. Um, but then I would go over it with this and I use this on a lot of metal work. This is something I learned when I worked in hotels. Um, and it was actually my, my gay friend, Derek, who I've spoken about before. He told me he was cleaning the lifts and he was saying the best way to do it is to use baby oil. So this is just straight baby oil and it works brilliantly on the microwave and any kind of metal work. So I just use that and you can either just use a dry cloth or you can use a cotton pad if you're using those, you know, reusable one, whatever. It works really well. Whilst I'm on the subject of the microwave, I often put like my cloths and things. I'll either put them in the wash in a separate wash just for cleaning cloths or I'll put them in the microwave because that kills germs as well, you know. So that's the metal work, that's the sideboards. Oh, the sink, I do sometimes use this. If I'm polishing up the hob with this, I will then also use this for the sink to shine it up. But to be honest, our sink is quite cheap. When we put our kitchen in, we didn't like the sideboard, but it was the only one that would be put in in our time frame because we were leaving another rented flat and moving in here. And so everything in there, we just kind of was like, well, that one, that one, that one. We didn't have much budget left and we were on a, a tight time schedule as well. And so I'd love to replace my sink. We're talking about, could we redo the kitchen? Um, so hopefully that will happen. Happen one day, if we don't find that bungalow. <laughs> um, so the only thing left is the floor. And I've tried lots of different things over the years for the floor, but my very favorite is the thing I'm gonna go and get to show you. It is this, this is my Violida mop. So there's these things that you put on the end of it that just clip on and you can take these off and wash them. And then here, you lift this up and then you just put your whatever solution you're using. So a lot of the time for me, or most of the time, it's this diluted. So it's Zoflora diluted. I dilute it quite a lot and I just use this daily. So, you know, I just give a quick swipe around the kitchen after hoovering. I'll like hoover, you know, up all the crumbs or whatever, and then go over with this. Um, and I use this for any spills as well. I have it sitting on the back of the door, like so, back of the kitchen door in a sort of hook. So that's really, really handy. Um, if I'm doing, again, if I'm doing a deep clean, I'll actually use wipes, which is one of the things that I really ought to change. And I used to, I should get myself some floor cloths and actually use those. But with wipes, I just find them so convenient. So just Asda floor wipes, I use Asda's own floor wipes and I mean, I suppose, like I said, I'm not using this all the time. It's just if we've got company and I really want to get all the dust in all the corners, I will get on my hands and knees and go along the whole hall and all the edges and all around the bathroom and all around the kitchen as well. Kev will do that sometimes for me if my knees are too bad. Um, and it's amazing how much dust is there because I do find with mops like that, sometimes they just push the dust along, you know, and you think, has it actually got everything out? And then I'm amazed how much there is when I use the, the floor wipes. Like I said, I really should change that to using a floor cloth, but I think there's no substitute for you actually doing it with your hands, you know? Um, that's everything in the kitchen except for our dining table. Our dining table, I'm, I've normally got some kind of protector on it, even if it's a table runner. Um, and because it's wood, I use something like this on it. My very favourite thing to use, I've actually just run out of, and it is the, is it by Eco? It's basically, it's an almond, like, cream. Oh, 
it's just amazing um i normally buy it from john lewis when i'm in town but obviously i'm not in town at the moment so i had to buy this which is nowhere near um the same as that one that i'm talking about i'll put a picture of it on the screen so you can see what i'm meaning um but i just use something like this on the wood on the dining table that's everything in the kitchen um in fact is that everything no then there's the bathroom of course to dust i just use the typical yellow dusters and this like i said it's normally my almond spray which is not an aerosol it's um a non-aerosol spray and i normally use that for dusting and then to vacuum i have this this is the dyson i can't remember which version this is Oh, version 10 animal it says on it there version 10 animal i was really unsure which one of these to get and whether to get it or not because we actually i think i got it from john lewis and i went in and felt them and my hesitation was they are very heavy um compared to i suppose the weight is different in that i've got a dyson animal but a corded one and i love it but it just wasn't picking up as much and i'd had that one for i think seven years so we decided to get this because this would be great to just grab and hoover up little bits and pieces with having Watson. And it is really good for that, but it is quite heavy here. And so it, it feels to me like harder work. But my husband said he prefers this to the main Dyson. I prefer using the main Dyson. I prefer how it feels using it. If that one was cordless, it would be fantastic, if that makes sense, because all the weight is at the top here. Um, it also, when you carry it, you, you tend to hold it here and you switch it on as you're carrying it, which is kind of annoying. It also makes a really odd noise. You know, it's kind of a bit electronic at the end. And I know that Watson doesn't like that. He's down there. And if I started using this near him, he'd run away. And I just got him used to the Hoover, actually. Um, but I've kept... Oh, see, see what I mean? <laughs> Let me put this down. I have kept my old Dyson which is kind of annoying because now this is in the hall and that's the other thing, you need somewhere that you can display the Hoover, you know, that doesn't, you're not gonna be able to put it in a cupboard unless you happen to have plug points in your cupboard, but I don't know that that's possible or if anybody's got that. Um, so we've now got this in the hall, but I've still got my Dyson in the cupboard and I don't wanna get rid of my Dyson because if ever I'm, now with this, I just Hoover probably every other day again, because there'll be things where I've given Watson a treat or something like that. And I, I can just grab this and hoover one little bit. Um, whereas if I needed to do the whole house, I would probably bring out the other one because it would be less heavy. And also I would worry that this would run out of charge because I always use it on max. That's the vacuum cleaner. I really like and always did like um, Shake and Vac. I absolutely love Shake and Vac and I've got one in lemon and I only ever use it if I if I suddenly think, you know what, this house is smelling a bit doggy, like I'll maybe sprinkle a little bit of the lemon Shake and Vac, but it's not something again that I like to use very often. Um, and of course I've got my Bissell carpet cleaner, which I've talked about in my Amazon favourites. I adore that carpet cleaner. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. And especially with Watson having been sick and throwing up blood and all of that kind of thing in the house, it's been wonderful because it's always like little bits here and there, you know, so I think oh, it's just, I love my Bissell carpet cleaner and would recommend that to anybody. Um, and the thing is, we talked about having hard floors in the living room, but if we did, we would want to have a large rug, um, you know, just to make it homely. And so we were saying it's probably not worth it because then you're still going to clean the rug anyway. We might as well have a fitted carpet. So the only thing left is the bathroom. And for the bathroom, I normally use something like this. I've been known to use fairy in the past when I haven't had any soap because like I said, I've been cleaning the bath, toilet and sink with soap and water for many, many years because my nan had recommended that. Somebody recommended this and I bought this a good few years ago. I think this one is eucalyptus, yeah. I love this, I absolutely love it. It's eucalyptus smell, it's wonderful. And this is Castile soap. So I just put a bit of this on this sponge, get the shower going and just clean the inside of the bath clean the sink, clean the toilet. I've always got my rubber gloves on. <laughs> I do like my marigolds. Um, but more recently, I've been using this shampoo because it's something that I want to use up. I don't like this shampoo. It smells to me more like a cleaning product. Um, I could probably mix those two. And I haven't bought another one of these and won't buy another one of these because I found out it's got palm oil in it and it's not sustainable palm oil. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah, palm kernel oil. Um, and I don't believe Dr. Bronner's is cruelty free. So it is something I enjoy using, but not something I'll use again, especially now I've got that shampoo. Um, 
but if I really do want to give something a deep clean so sometimes the toilet gets you know those those weird sort of streaks on it sort of orangey streaks then I will just go under the rim with some bleach and leave it and then you know flush it pretty quickly and that I don't do that very often again because the bleach just makes me cough and I don't think it needs it very often but it is nice to do it now and again um the other thing I've got and I absolutely love these are these these are Harpic and they're little tablets that you drop into the toilet bowl um because, you know you used to get ones that you put in the cistern and i used to love the ones that were blue and would make the water blue i mean it's not something i do now here's my little toothbrush for this is my cleaning toothbrush um but then eventually i found these harpic ones that you can just drop into the toilet so again occasionally i'll drop one of these in oh bless him he's just sleeping he's being so good in this whole lockdown i can't tell you i went through and did a little bit of training with him this morning just because I was like, he's being so good and he's waiting until 12 o'clock for his second walk. And yet his second walk used to be at nine o'clock with a big pack on Great Big Adventures. But he's just been so amazing. Um, so I didn't want him to think he'd been forgotten, you know. Anyway, yeah, half it. So I'll show you what they're like. And I'm going to go and drop one into the toilet, actually. Um, I don't know why I like doing that. Just occasionally I'm like, oh, I'm going to put one of these in the toilet. It's <laughs> a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I think that's pretty much it with the toilet. Like I said, I sometimes use bleach. I always use soap to clean the bath and sink. Um, the taps, I just, when they're dry, I just use a dry cloth to, to buff them to a shine. You know, I don't put anything specific on them and the floor just gets mopped when I'm doing everything else. You know, so I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? And the mirrors, like I said, I normally just buff them or I'll use my windowing. Um, I don't really use anything like scents. Um, I have got an electric candle in here and I've got a candle in the hall and I've got um, a candle tart, you know, where you light the little tea light underneath and that gives off a scent. I will use the hall candle and the one in the living room if I've got company coming because although I can't always smell it, I'm pretty sure the house smells doggy. I mean, Watson doesn't malt or anything, so it shouldn't smell too bad. Um, but just in case it smells doggy, I do put those on if I'm having company. But other than that, I'm not into like plugins or or any of those. The plugins for a start, my friend, that wasn't a plugin, but plugins I don't think are very good for your lungs. I don't really want the house full of perfume. It's not great for my lungs. It's definitely not great for Watson's. Um, but my friend used it was a Glade candle, which it, it was an air freshener candle, um, and it cracked while she was in the other room and set the whole of her living room on fire and it went all through the house and they had to move out and it was just a disaster so that really puts me off candles that and the you know the fragranced aspects but I do love them I do really enjoy candles um and so there's normally one sitting out in my bathroom but I just don't light it very often again I'll probably like the the one in the bathroom when we've got company other than that I don't use air freshener the most I'll do is I will put like I might put a drop of essential oil on a little cotton ball and put it in the hoover if I wanted to, you know, freshen the air up kind of thing. I'd do something like that. Or even I would get some peppermint oil or some eucalyptus oil or something like that. And I'd go right into the corners and just put a little drop on the carpet. And that's enough to give you a really nice scent. And it's still not the greatest for you, but it's not quite as overwhelming and it's not aerosol and, you know, it's not synthetic fragrances. And so that's the way I would kind of fragrance the room. Um, I think that's everything. Not really that crazy. I'm definitely not like Mrs. Hinch. You know, I have watched a couple of her little Instagram stories and things and I'm like, oh my goodness, she must have so many products. Like, how do you fit that many products into your cupboard? You know, I suppose it's just about priorities because we've got a massive whole cupboard that is just filled with enrichment toys for Watson. So, you know, if my priority was cleaning, I could probably have that full of cleaning products. Um, but it's not. But um, the only other cleaning thing we've got is for outside. We've got the, the pressure washer for the deck. And I'm hoping that Kev will get to do some of that before he goes back to work. Because it's one of the jobs I absolutely detest. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to use as well this year? I'm going to use the wet and forget. That's what we've got some wet and forget. We bought it last year on a recommendation from somebody. You just spray it all over your deck, leave it and then apparently it just takes everything off it so we're going to use some of that and see how we get on as well so yeah that's everything for today i hope that you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching and i love when i get requests like this from you guys so please keep them coming and i'll speak to you again soon